Damn, it feels good to be the boss sometimes. Look at that view. Sitting on a spaceship, naked as I can be. That's what life is all about. What's up, guys? BTBS here. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout 3. I am sitting here on in my uh, office in the Olympian Olympus. I can't remember what we actually named this ship. And uh, I need to start off by doing a little bit of clerical work. We need to write our mission report. The mission report has been sent. Let's wait for the council to digest the information. And that is... Uh, it's not something we can read. Okay, last time I thought it was something we could read. But, um, yeah, in the deep end. That last mission was insane. I feel like my character would be standing up here sort of leaning against the glass with one hand with a fist up against it head up on the fist just staring out at the earth just thinking what else is left for you you know real real deep shit right there oh god my psycho wore off and my lucky fags finished okay um i should really put my armor on i should really get some armor befitting um, a person of my stature because I don't actually have any um, I can't remember where my room is is it, in, is it down here or is this the bridge this is my room yeah um, where's my laundry room uh, bathroom there is there we go laundry service wow Officer uniform. Is there no, like, you know, King of Space uniform? I have to remember the controls. It's been a while since I played this game. And uh, I have to record an episode because this one goes up tomorrow. And I currently don't have... Yeah, I don't have any spare episodes left. So I kind of have to record. I'm sorry if I'm a little sluggish. I am in the early stages of a horrible infection Astronaut right now. Hello, Sally. At your service. Hello, Sally. Um... Not, a, not any sort of gross infection, it's a sinus infection, sinusitis. So, uh, yeah, in a couple of days I'll be screaming and begging people to kill me, which uh, happens more than you would think. God, the frame drop I get there is insane. Oh, 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 must remember, I've been meaning to do this for a very long time. I need to go and pick up uh, a gun that I, was, I meant to pick up when I originally played through the Dilk. Come on, guys. You clean this shit up. For now, I'm just going to be walking around the ship kind of naked. I can't remember, actually. Is this, um... Is this part of the ship got any people on it? Where's my local map? God damn it, hiccups already. That is just dreadful. Mm. I can't remember how you get back into the normal part of the ship. There's a teleporter somewhere, isn't there? Right, so that's the... Oh, there's a teleporter under the bridge, if I remember correctly. Yeah, teleport up. That's what I want. That brings me here. And then I want to go to the engine core. That's the cryo lab, so the rest of the engine core must be out here. Yes. And then I think it was the west wall. Yes, there it is. So this door is what I forgot to go in last time. The engine room. And uh, I've had this note sitting on my sticky for a month, a month and a half. I can't remember the last time I actually recorded Fallout. Now, there's probably going to be enemies in here, so I think the commander needs to suit up before uh, going in too far. Let's just stick on our power armor so we are now the tank we were born to be. There's a drone in there. Okay, so it looks like our guys haven't got to all of the ship yet. <coughs> ah! Natives! Whoa! Um, what is my VATS key? I would assume Q. You don't mind? 
Uh -huh. Ah yes, Q is my vats, okay. Man, this gun is uh a little powerful. So yeah, I was supposed to come here before, and this should be the trash disposal area. And there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff here, which is why I wanted to come here. Oh. Okay, droney drone. Oh man. Did not hit with enough of those. Don't bitch slap me. Reload and Ah, I'm not used to the low sensitivity I have on here for some reason. How are you talking? You're dead! All the life has drained from your body. Those. Where's that other drone gone? Might have been that one. Something is definitely buggy about these guys. Ah! Hey look, there's a guy wearing an entire tank for armor and firing a gun that is more advanced than most of the things on our ship. Let's attack him with a baton. That's gonna work out well. Ooh, the special shock baton. Awesome. I love special weapons. I actually can't remember what I was doing with special weapons in this game because I do anything from keeping them to selling them. Electro suppressor. Nice. It depends what style of game I'm playing. Like if I'm playing a game where I don't allow myself to have a house then obviously I don't keep hold of them. Teleporter that activates nowhere. Apparently I can't kill that guy. Um, some sort of force field control? Yeah, screw you guys. I'll take those shock batons, I'll use them to uh, fix up my electro suppressor. Right, nothing in there. He's dead. Take that. There's a door over there. Oh, hello. Activate control. These are... Yeah. Remotely overload turret circuitry. There was a turret in there? I suppose was being the... Yeah, there's turrets on the spaceship, isn't there? Inaccessible door. I totally forgot the turrets were a thing. Like I said, it has been a while since I've played this. Oops, oops, oops. Die! Die. Oh, that's useful actually. If um if I kill them with this, it turns them into dust so they don't explode. Gee, what ammo does this gun take? Power module. They're really cheap actually. Yeah, that's right. This is the uh, the mod version of the Captain's sidearm or Captain's blaster, which is like a super powerful alien weapon, but takes uh, alien power cells. I remember now. This gun is very good. I must have really got my energy weapons up to use it this well. Ooh. Another Healy gateway? Ah yes, there was a turret in here by the looks of it. Container, just alien stuff. Why didn't Sally tell me there was a place on the ship that still had enemies in it? We could dispatch an entire unit here and probably suffer casualties because everyone knows that player characters are so impressively overpowered compared to everything else in existence. Um. Ow! That one was a little closer than I thought. Excuse me. Put your hands down. I will not hug you. You haven't exploded yet. Fuck it. If 
they explode, they explode, there you go. Oh god, I hate these guys, the fuckers with the shields. God damn, I remember these guys draining all of my ammo, the original, like, the first or second time I ever played through the DLC, just on, like, Xbox. Those guys were so grossly overpowered. Ooh, a mini teleporter. Tiggy! <laughs> Look at it! Look how small it is compared to my feet. Also, I have feet. Oh, I'm sorry for anybody watching these, like, shotgunning these in order. Ha! Huh! So that's what that one is for. God damn, I couldn't hit an alien if he was standing in front of me. Which is, uh, coincidental. And back up. Ow. Do you mind? God damn, the thing is, they have no good loot either. It's the F FTL paradox of giving you a really hard enemy that could, that could potentially wreck you, but then giving you nothing from them. Um, I'll take a quick heal. Oh god! There we go. I forgot the uh, the effect on that heal is uh, very bright. Um, you are probably the more pressing concern. You know, considering you shot a bomb at me from two feet away. Oh, alright, shot you in the torso, too bad. And down goes Robot. Shoot! Yeah, there we go. It's almost like a turn-based game at that point. Oh, apparently I have Grim Reaper's Sprint. I think. Because uh, every time I kill somebody in that, so I'm getting all my uh, stuff back. He went down really easily. Right, I need to fix up some drone cannons. Not that one. And fix up that one. And mix those two together. What about the destabilizer? No? Captain Sidearm, Disintegrator. No? Damn it, why do I keep my guns in such good condition? Or why don't I carry spare guns? Why aren't I currently carrying spare guns? Ooh, alien crystals, alien epoxy, and some bio gel. Nice, yeah, the epoxy is super useful actually. What's going on in here? So there's another turret control. Wait a minute. Did I just circle back round on myself? I did. Apparently I want to go down here and go a different way. Like this is where I came from here. I actually have no idea where I am right now. Um, I'm in an engine room apparently? Engine core. Maybe I should go back to the core and find out. Because I thought this was the trash disposal area. But I mean, this is an area with enemies in it, which is new. Oh, hello, that's, what's this? Right, this takes me back to the engine core out here. That's the robot assembly. Right, nothing over there. There's another door over there. This is the hangar. This is the cargo hold. Let's see if I've been in the cargo hold. Because I don't know. Um, no, I have not. Is that an alien? That does not look like an alien. Technician. Oh, sorry. Oh. Help me. I got your back. 
Help you? I'm the one that shot you. I mean, of course I will help you, brother. Oh, Christ. What up, dude? I honestly was not expecting there to be people and enemies in the same area. Um, that one's a little shocking. Get it? Shocking? Because I'm now repairing shock batons. Don't worry, I hate myself for that one as well. I should get us some extra room. Okay, random consoles with no screens. Oh, yeah, this is actually what I was looking for. So, there was two rooms that I needed to go in. Uh, modify the healing archway. Heal me properly. Oh, there we go. Screw you, drone! Interesting. Uh, yeah, we're gonna work our way around the top and then go down there and take a look at stuff. Because if I remember this place... How do you even get on that walkway? I'm sorry, technician. I will remove your jumpsuit and use it to identify you. Because there's probably a nice name like embossed on there somewhere. I fuck, my gun runs out and I just continue walking towards you. Uh, like a... Like a really, really shitty uh, villain. From some sort of movie. Right. Anything I can do in here to save weight? No. Combine aid. Let me light up a ciggy. Oh, there you go. I can I can eat that magazine. Wow, tyranid meat is actually pretty nice. Okay. Now it looks like it's a bit safer in here. So let's take these stairs down and take a look at this. So this is a collection of stuff the aliens were stealing. Mini nook. Oh my god, ammo boxes. Shotgun shells, energy cells, 44 magnum, and 556. 44 magnum, 308. Flame of fuel and five mil rounds. Thirty two and three five seven. Five mil. Three oh eight. And energy cells. I was hoping they'd be arranged in a bit of a, a bit more of a musical fashion. So I love this because it, it really shows like the aliens have been doing a whole load of um, like taking stuff from Earth. There's a missile launcher up here. Like, it shows that they've done more than just float around the planet for a little bit. They've actually been uh, stealing stuff and trying to learn about Earth culture and uh, humans. I mean, they have been around for several hundred years, so... I'm going to need to drop off some of them guns. Get myself unencumbered. Uh, weapons. Right, I've got enough atomizers and disintegrators. Those drone cannons are valuable. Very valuable. Actually. Yeah. Um, I really don't need a hunting rifle. I kind of want those. Plasma rifle. Um, oh yeah, the lightsaber. Drop those. And then let's just look in here quickly. Still got the druid hood on me. I'm carrying my thunder, fi thunder, fi thunder fist armor. 
Sorry, I always get that the wrong way around. What have we got here? Lunch boxes and a bottle cap mine. Oh god, I wonder if the aliens didn't realise the difference between them and so stacked them together like that. And here we have collections of food and cookware. It looks like they raided a diner. They have more alcohol, drugs. Drugs are always good. Remember kids, drugs are always good. Uh, right away. Ooh. Door to the research lab. I will definitely be going in there later. For now, let's continue on the conveyor belt uh, this way around. So there was a flamer, we have coffee machine, power armor and helmet, a sniper rifle, nice. What just exploded? A baby carriage. I was kind of hoping that would be a baby carriage bomb because that is one of my favorite traps in the game. And I think it only gets used like once or twice. Oh, a box full of stim packs. Um, so this is apparently their trash disposal. Right guys, I am back. Sorry about that. It looks like there's something that falls out of the disintegrator. And um, when it does, it's either the item's texture or the sound it makes or something like that. It doesn't render properly and the game crashes. But anyway... Uh, to get the weapon I'm after, you have to come up here, which is actually right by the ammos, and there is a terminal, the only one that actually works, called Reed Underwood's Terminal, and uh, I don't know how quickly, ah, there we go. Uh, Reed Underwood's Terminal, yeah, I hacked it pretty quick there. Um, basically, you can read it. And he has a, um, a safe with a special piece of military hardware in it. Let me just save real quick. Um, there's a good chance it's going to crash when I go up there. So if it does, what I'm going to do is try and get up there off camera and get the, um, get the, uh, the special gun. Uh, but if not, then I don't get the gun. And I mean, you guys know it's there. This is always the problem when you play with a fuck ton of mods, is uh, you, you just expect to crash every now and then, and um, yeah, you expect there to be certain things that just make you crash. So what I'm looking for is a safe somewhere in this rubble, uh, black metal safe, there we go, Underwood safe, and inside is the... Uh, a note about the pistol, the MPLX Nova Surge prototype pistol. Right, I return to you once more. I managed to um, get in there, uh, get the gun, and then leave. Um, it looks like it is definitely something that spawns to be disintegrated. It doesn't like existing, and when it exists, it crashes my game. So yeah, um... I mean, if you're playing with the same mod set as I am, look out for that, I guess. Uh, there's a door, and there's a door to the engine core. Okay, what's this door? Activated from elsewhere. I kind of don't care. I've got, like, everything this ship has to offer me now. I just really wanted to get the Nova Surge, because it's a cool gun. Yeah, let me, uh... My plucks. Yeah. Hey, knock it off. Who the fuck? Someone was just shouting at me in a very echoey, weird voice. Oh, it's the lead technician. One of the guys voiced by the, uh, I want to say German. I'm not sure, though. Uh, the, the guy who made the mod. Right, let's go back to the teleport, um, teleport hub. And back to the bridge. Now, I'm pretty sure my current mission... Wow, dark out today, isn't it, lads? Dark in space. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure my current mission is actually just to wait ten days. Because uh, that was the thing the mod author put in the game was like 
a 10 day wait between each of the missions uh, quests yeah I don't even have a mission right now let's see if we can uh, just wait a couple of days and get anything interesting to happen uh, you've received a new message on my private terminal god damn it um, there we go so I don't know if I explained that bug before um, the speed up thing I use, the speed up mod instead of just making you sleep faster it just ticks the game to like five times the speed and if you exit early then it never stops the game being extra fast um, Project Poseidonus 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 Briefing uh, we have studied the debriefing mission report from Artemis Team Mission. Uh, the Council agrees on launching an invasion force to colonize the underwater base as you've proposed on your report. Our scanners show the compound is... Oh crap, wrong button. Don't you hate that when you're trying to go to the next page and you accidentally turn off your, your computer? Uh, briefing. Actually, much larger than the areas you saw, it would allow us to fund uh, something much more important than a simple support base. It will serve as an arc, as the capital of a new society where art and science will flourish again. Hang on a minute. A city under the water where art and science are led to flourish. I don't know where I've heard that before. If I was a good video editor, this is the point where the word Bioshock would be flashing on the screen with like lines coming off of it to show that it's loud and important. Yeah, that sounds very, very, very Bioshock, very Randian. Uh, the project will be divided into three stages. Deployment of a large attack force, estimated time three days. Deployment of a civilian specialist to restore fully fun full functionality. And start compound repopulation. Funding, 40,000 credits for equipment, 10,000 for personnel, 25,000 for specialists. Wait, what are credits? Uh, we'll be able to fund the majority of this mission with funding alone, but to avoid endangering the stability of our economy, we've established a share of 10,000 credits per council member. This amount will help reducing the economic stress. Okay, so I have to pay them ten grand. Um, do I have any money on me? I have no idea. Items. I don't have ten grand. Unless credits are different and not actually caps. Let, let me see. Let me um, give the green light. Not enough money. Yeah, so I actually do need to just grab some caps real quick. You know, I'm actually okay with this. I'm okay with having to spend 10 grand from the council members because, uh, you know, people up high always end up getting paid way more than they should. Main hangers. And uh, if that money can trickle down and do something useful, like, I mean, we don't have to spend so much of our actual funding and stuff like that, then yeah. I mean, honestly, as the uh, as the only person on this council who actually doesn't get paid, I feel like I shouldn't have to participate, but everybody always says that. Can I reach those clips? No. I need telekinesis to reach those guns. Actually, there's a container here. Oh, it's empty. The package is empty. Um, doo -doo -doo. I need some supplies. Allow me to sell you some things. Do not need those. I bought these expressly to sell. Okay, you're out of money already. Um, I use alien power cells, so why don't we buy... Three grand of those? No. How about another two grand? No. How about another grand and a half? There we go. And then you can take these, and I don't need these. 
and I will give you back just a few of these. Yeah, uh, like another 60. That'll do, except. Now I have Thanks. enough money. Thank you, I have what I need. Allow me to leave. Your door moves really slowly. Although I suppose the idea is that if somebody is trying to steal from you, then they'll get to the door and have to wait like five seconds before they can leave. And being the quartermaster, you probably have access to some pretty decent guns, which in that time could just blow people to piles of like gently weeping dust and giblets. Ah, I'm li I like the fact that the door closes behind me. Right. Time to spend ten grand and uh, create a new utopia. Give the green light. Here we go. Ten thousand bottle caps removed. Jeez. Now it looks like I have to wait ten days. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to have to be next time. I think maybe, uh, maybe next time... Um, well, we could either go and do some more stuff from the mod, because the way I understand it, there's at least three? Three or four. I think there's three entire n more missions to go, which is probably like just 12 episodes going by the length of some of these. So there's, qu there's going to be quite a lot of uh, stuff we can actually do. So yeah, maybe we'll do more missions next time, or maybe we'll do something in the actual wasteland. Who knows? Find out next time on Fallout. Peace out.